Why not? You need somebody? Yes, I won't be Vince Scully for the afternoon, but Vegesus and Crypt getting ready for battle. Career versus, what the oh. DeAndre King. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Thank Best you. of both worlds. First time we've met face to face. Ladies and gentlemen, on, well, the yeah, following yeah, contest is for the Revolution Hardcore Title! I will say you put a hell of an effort up in the opening match. The Ladder Warp didn't get the job done with the Unbreakable Championship on the line. But now, time to get hardcore. Eric Gray, the challenger, weighing in at 245 pounds from parts unknown, he is the freak! We'll have some catching up to do later, DeAndre, as he joins next to me for what is about to get pretty beneath the hardcore championship on the line. This man last year lost that surprise. But it didn't take him five minutes over the course of the beginning of the season. Your head's one more cluttered than I have. I just found it as I see it. What matters today, though, is revenge on Jim Spraggan and one of his lackeys. He must be Raven's nephew. The Raven. The Raven. I is now introducing the hardcore champion. He's straight out of the mental institution in Joliet, Illinois. Weighing in at 185 pounds and being accompanied to the ring by members of Salvation. It's Dale Omerta! Some fans are actually clapping. It was not your spring. They're sadistic one way or another. A year ago. of 15 minutes of pain wow, in Illinois man. wrestling lore. Jimmy Jack Daniels won the first two editions of that matchup, and back in February, survival of the thickest. Daryl Omerta won the title. And I know we've got this, I know we've got this big man right in front of us, but hardcore matches on free per view tend to be sadistic. Ring, Ring bell. that bell. Bell's gone. Title match Come number on, three Omerta. underway. I want to see this fight. I know you want to make plenty of time, but for sure. I mean, we can do both. We could. But you never know. Two! Gut wrench suplex! That is the first wrestling move I swear I've seen the freak use in a long time, and he's known for that freight bomb and that power bomb that may be illegal in major parts of the Deep South. The first one. Scott Steiner's a genetic freak. The freak is a whole other landmass start to be dealt with. And a running for us. He is not technically Sam. He's gonna hit you and hit you and hit you when it hurts. If a guy your side, Sean Mitchell. 
you have Sean Mitchell powerbombed on cruise night more than a year ago on a shopping cart, among other things. The three worst nightmares That's a nice one. And Mr. Mods on Twitter, though I barely use that. Uh-oh. Kmart may be closed, but I can spot that shopping cart from a mile away. It looked like you were a grocery shop. Hope you want to call it that. Steel City being brought in, not once. Oh, that old fateful chair. Baseball bats. Uh-oh. One version of Barbie. Oh! Wow. Now you just take a look at the freak. This is adversity. Shut the hip, that chair dented. And the freak's not gonna let low. Right hands and left. The, one of the ladders from the ladder war is still out here in the spirit of the rope, and Daryl's fighting back! Wow. This is heavy artillery being thrown. I don't know who can take a chance. It's like your federal <laughs> combat war zone. I don't know who can take a chance out better. Wow. A lot of comparisons. Wow. Wait, did you say King Kong? What do we have for this discussion? Right. Craig and Tawny, the fans over here, I think I see. Good old Gary Austin joining us in support of revolution. Jeff Gary, look at that. Since his retirement, neither of these two men, I don't think it's time to play that country music. Did I just see a tooth pop on him? Oh, that's a piece of gum. The freak can you know what? You and Dominic may be out of gum soon. Dear good grief. What a jump. I didn't even want to jump in, Pablo. Oh, wow. Pablo is saying to wow. join me here. I guess he wants a little bit of the sense of brutality oh. right in there. Oh. You're not going to get a few words out with these two. Oh, goodness. They're coming over here. Oh. As long as they don't hit me with you. Your up. phone's fine, lady. Your phone's fine. I would hope so. You heard those shots. Yeah, you know they're doing these. Get them away from your water oh. bottles. The trash can has been beaten to a pulp. And the cookie <laughs> sheet. And another. No chocolate chip pecan swirls tonight. No matting right in front of us. Championship still on the line here. The wow. Come on, Alberta. The freak is taking maybe 200 questions in his total career, not just revolution. Is this your first taste of hardcore matches in revolution? Because there have been plenty of examples involving the freak, involving a murder. These two, based off a fan fest, some people call that match of the year the triple threat of Jimmy Jack. Elbow drop. A big effing elbow, as McFoley would call. Come on, Alberta! We got the first oh! Somebody just played some music. Yeah, Elvis yeah. Freak Presley is in the building. I think he just played an encore. Wow. Security close by. <laughs> wow. Freak. Trying to go for Cannon Hall, they're all murder out of the way. I'm surprised he can uh, think enough to turn move. I'm just, I just said all this free press like that. Wow. He played him, he played the whole conference and then had it on for Come on, Omar. Daryl in the corner right now. Running splash into the three. I mean you could call in some semblance. Hey Omar! Seven times the hardcore champion. Just so you know. In a previous federation. Her mom put a bigger fight last night when I visited her. Oh. 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 I don't know. I don't know. One more thing. Button or button. Your dad recorded it. Oh. I don't know what he said, but it ticked off Omerta. He was talking about Omerta's mama. Wow. Somebody better call Obama. I can see why the applause man. You're a nice lady. You're a really nice lady. But she's the one who gave the chewing gum to you. No. That's a nice lady. Nice people. Anyway. The freak. 
to the outside. Oh, Mary. Uh oh. He's going to send this little, this big, ugly beauty, if you want to call him that, into the corner. That I have never seen, well, I have seen numerous times, the freak being incapacitated to the nth degree. And the enforcer, if you want to call him the Call him the freight yeah, train. Spelled enforcer wrong. Those are two Fs on this. Enforcer. Pablo, take care of my dirty work. I'd rather call him on, the freight train because he just take ran him over. Oh! His work got on. Freak's got a murder though. You better watch this wagon. And he sends Daryl down. Wasn't with authority, but. I think he's got dirty attention. Uh, T on the yeah. oh, onto the outside. Uh, you know he's going to pull out anything he can. He is one of the people that made hardcore. The freak. Getting the advantage there on a DDT, but Come what cost? He's tending to the right shoulder of his. I won't lie, I saw something. I'm surprised he hasn't used it yet. There have been much more impressive wars. Now, oh, Omerta tried to jump and he tripped. Oh, oh, the freak. Not impressed. You guys, have to, you guys have to get back, though. Security needing to rush there. It's tense moments. The freak. We're gonna have to stop. Wait. Security checking on Daryl. Did he? He was trying to run to get the freak and he tweaked his ankle. I don't know if it looked like a knee. It wasn't an accident. Look, he's just shoving him off. He's oh, he's shoving him off. He wants to continue this match. To the surprise, really not myself. I'm not seeing any sort of look. Jim Spragan and his enforcer, their backs turned against me. Daryl Omerta, the tide has turned definitely. Daryl holding on to that right knee. The freak, meanwhile, the match has not been called. It's hardcore, really. Look at this. The referees can't really do anything. You know, it's for the safety of the performance in the ring to try and do something. Oh, finally, he's getting the beating he deserves. Don't say, don't say him. His mother could come and smack you upside the head. Freak, meanwhile, doing some. Do it yourself, home improvement here with a, with a cookie sheet. Daryl has not been up in well over a couple of minutes and he just tosses. Noah Bickett is checking on. But again, this is a rather hardcore scene and uh oh. This is going to take me back to a fraternity battle. I was going to say this was sort of a country club. Now we set it down and put spots in a. Boy, oh boy, oh no! Is he going for what I think he is? Jimmy Jack isn't here, but his legacy may live on from the man that has taken more gutter balls, no pun intended, than anybody, courtesy of Jimmy Jack Daniels. Omerta's on his feet, and a bowling ball! Daryl's down, he's been out for several minutes here. Oh! He misses! Did he miss? That he one almost it. rolled he out of the county. He had a gutter ball. He hit a gutter ball. That almost rolled out of LaSalle County. Uh, uh, sorry, thanks for coming. Well, I guess it is hard to hit a target that small. <laughs> this is the first time I've heard the freak apologizing <laughs> for any of his actions. But this is salvation he's dealing with and Alberta. His leg was stuck in the bar bar in that chair. Right hand by Daryl Murna. It is a slugfest on North Bloomington Street. The final show, the final day of the 2016 campaign. The freak is down for the first time on Daryl Murna. Looks like the injury bug did not bite him. Come on, Omerta. Watching this match, I don't And the fact that. Oh, where to sit there and have the freak down is kind of interesting considering the conversation behind that curtain. See this. Omerta maybe may not be the president of the neighborhood watch. Stop the spine to the back of the freak's head. 
considering <laughs> the kinds of fights the freak has had with Jimmy Jack. You go and on. ask him that! And as you said last year, he sat there and bounced, bounced Sean Mitchell off of the shopping cart. More than one. Sean Mike Mitchell, end of the day, last year, slayed the giant killer known as the freak. Remember, this is the man that bloodied and defeated Jimmy Jack Daniels. Pledge of Allegiance of a year ago. Darrell wants to keep this on the floor. From the looks of things as he pulls on the apron, the chest and the stomach. The same way he was tending to. I think she wondered how much more can either one of them take before either the match is over or they call it quits. Freak, of course, we know, will never call quit. So it He's never, never said I quit before in his career. So it makes us wonder, how long before a win Two years ago at this point, <laughs> there were 10 different title changes in that hardcore title and the 15 damnedest minutes of pain anyone has ever seen in Revolution history. As I mentioned last year, Sean Mitchell dethroning the king of hardcore, the Freak, on the third different try. Sean Mitchell may, I don't know if he'll admit it, but there may still be nightmares from that particular matchup. Meanwhile, trying to get a look on Salvation and get the land here this time. Big boot by the Freak! And so he'll try to press against the ropes. I can tell you one thing is that his, his, his matches against the Freak can't help his stutter. Come on, Alberta, get up! You're full of ropes, aren't you? He gave that poor boy nightmares and made them worse. Come on, Daryl, get up! Get up, Daryl! Daryl will down almost front and center. Lining up a bunch of chairs. Punish worse than the Punisher on his shirt. And the free. Seeing a plethora of weapons in that ring, but he turns his attention to two chairs. Both folded down. Omerta may be seconds away from being folded like an accordion and taken out of someone home. Excuse my French. Backdrop! What a reversal. That was either he was going to take it or he took it. I don't know if it's sadism or appreciation, but those fans loved every second. Every little painful sound from that impact. I think we got sadistic fans. You don't live in Streeter, do you? At least it's not Chicago. You don't see 6,000 gunfires every week or something. I don't live here, but I've been here enough. I thought that was a different town. Can't get in this conversation. Just picking up a chair. I've been holding it. Look to the midsection, that chair. Memorializing Jake Paparello, the loose cannon. The king of House of Hardcore, the inventor of that matchup, and the animal Kyle Zinzer. Gone but not forgotten. As the freak step looks down at those two names. And that chair up front and center. Close to that pile, trying to power him up. Having trouble once, we're going to do it again. Down and Bill. Oh! Stunner out of nowhere. That might have knocked out of two. Yeah, another two. One, two. Oh, almost a three. Another close call for Noah Pickett. Champion has not retained officially. I've got to ask, what is your prediction? Who do you think will come out on top? It's anybody's ball game right now. No sense of predictions at this point. Just sit back and enjoy, my friends. Pablo, DeAndre King, in there. I don't know if you want to call it. And the freak! Oh, I think the freak. He got the folks in cover. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new hardcore champion!
the Breeze! Make that 19 title changes in the history of Uprising for the third year in a row. Look at that smile. The Freak gets one over on his old... That old Kobe gets dragged. again. I do want to remind you, I do have these two tickets in my hand for the 